Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Pentiment where we're in the midst of this angry gossip fest. What about the Miller? Doesn't he have some part to play in that? But if it isn't his pr but it isn't his problem, he's the abbot, not the mayor. No, let's ask about the Miller, the asshole. Lenhart drives a hard bargain. He won't give us a better deal just because the abbot raises our taxes. What we need is access to more land. Trying to bargain with Lenhart won't get us that. Lenhart is not a kind man, and he does not negotiate. <laughs> he might, if you carry a lot of, and I, if you carry a lot of debt, but his bargains are cruel. We pay him even before the abbot, though. I'm not sure why. Good. I have nothing Christian to say about Lenhart Mueller, so I will say nothing at all. <laughs> I kind of like her. Except that I hope he's, he falls into a fast-moving <laughs> river during a flood and dashes his brains out on the rocks. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I really like her. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Teddy! <laughs> yeah, that's that's an appropriate reaction. <laughs> Can we talk about something else? No, I'm enjoying this line of conversation. Come on, Andre. Surely you've got better questions than that. Tassane. Sure, let's ask him something about Tassane. Do you see much of the monks and nuns in town? The anchoress of the church, do you know much about her? How have you been weathering the storm? Let's ask about the anchoress. That seems the most interesting. Oh, Sister Amelia. It's the fig longer. <laughs> it's, it never stops being funny. It's a fucking fig longer. Huh? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. You know her, Veronica? We're not dear friends or anything, but sometimes she has these fits, you know. And if Father Thomas isn't there and I have time, I wait with her until he arrives. Since when I didn't know anything about this? Ah, and here I thought you were just a bro a adored the church building. You're so funny, Veronica. Don't make it sound weird. It's kind of weird. <laughs> like, so are anchoresses, but... She's nice and someone should be there when she's in pain, that's all. Father Thomas told me she receives visions from God. Life of an anchoress is difficult and lonely. I'm sure she appreciates the company. Father Thomas has reprimanded me for speaking to her. I'm surprised he hasn't done the same to you, Veronica. Wait, there was no rule that you couldn't talk to anchoresses. They were supposed to, like, dispense wisdom. Oh, I just make sure he doesn't know. <laughs> Blood sacrament! What have I told you about disrespecting the father? Will you stop cursing, woman? <laughs> no! no! <laughs> She's been in Tassing for near on a decade, hasn't she? Since I was a girl, certainly we've grown up with her, in a way. The woman in the maze, it's like something from a tale of knights and monsters. She's trapped in a box. I don't think there's anything romantic about that. Aren't you a little know-it-all? I didn't realize you were an expert! I don't know about you girls, but I'm sick of this wool. I'm sure we've all got other chores to do. Oh, wait, we put ours down. When did that happen? A while ago. We've been slacking off. Everybody's like, woo. I'm glad to have that over with. Now I don't have to think about wool for a whole year. What about all the wool you haven't spun yet? Oh, I was having such a nice time. I certainly learned a lot. Care for an escort hub, Ava? I'd like that, yes. 
<laughs> I expect everyone will be on their best behavior going home. They always are. Johan, please! Untrace, will I see you home for supper? Uh, I have something to take care of you for, but I'll try to make it. Perhaps I'm not sure what my plans are for this evening. This was very illuminating. Thank you all for letting me join you. Thank you for coming by, Andres. Come back anytime. Unless you come on Abby business. Don't threaten him with a good time, Johan. Whatever that means, it's kind of a weird statement. Eat. Should we go up to the Abbey? Well, it's eating time. Oh, hi. Who could we eat with? Well, I know who we'll eat with. But the Druckers, we already ate with them. The Druckers? Who are they? No, are we gonna go eat with the Miller? What? Yes. <laughs> okay. Should they... Can we eat with them? We could pet Straub. Andres! Hello! Hello, Master Mailer. Okay, let's see if we can eat with this guy. I'd be with you, Andres. Who should we eat with? Not the Druckers. We already ate with them. Can we go to the Abbey and eat with somebody? Okay. Let's try that. We, we didn't do any work today, but let's just... Should we be doing work? I don't know. I mean, I'm more interested in solving this murder case, but... I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the Stonemason. I don't know, we haven't, we've only interviewed like half the suspects, I don't know. Who what... are the other suspects we haven't interviewed? Well, technically... One of the nuns. Oh, and the, 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 the asshole, the, the prior. Uh. Fernick. No, he's the one I'm real interested in, because apparently he was being blackmailed by the Baron to do an occult ritual. I want to know more about that shit. Wait, why is this open? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Monstrance, chalice, paten, chiorabum, and purificator. Almost everything you need for a mass other than the host. Probably with the funds of the Abbey I stored, the sacristy is also the treasury. Armars hold all of the vestments. See, I told you there were clothes in here. Father Garnot and Brother Matthew used during Mass. Oh. What, did you want to rob it or something? Oh, something, yeah. Rifle through things for clues? Yeah. We should go to Fernick's house and see if he's there. Just barge in on his house and be like, Hey, Fernick, we're eating with you. We don't care if you don't like it. Oh, there he is! That's Hi. Fernick. Yes, hello, dude. Andres, what an awful time. Awful time. Baron murdered at Curacao. These are dark days indeed. Brother Piero, I admit I would have never thought him the type. What could have possessed him? I can't remember. Is he the Is he the one that's fully in charge? He's not the abbot, right? No, he's the prior. He's the one in charge of the... You can't believe Brother Piero would kill the Baron. It's not in his nature. Piero is a half step from the grave. You really think he could have killed a man in his prime? He's also a snail. <laughs> he, he's the kill it snail name. I think we should go with the middle one. No, let's go with the, this one. Because we're appealing to, to this. Yeah, but then it's almost like we're endorsing the fact that he could have killed him. <sighs> No, I think this is better. We want to get on his good side. He's not the decision okay, maker. Okay, fine. Oh, men are weak to Satan's temptations, Andres. Even old men. But not me. 
that you have come to me for a reason. Do you need something? I came across an interesting letter from you addressed to the late Baron Rothvogel. You rushed into the scriptorium and hit something strange at your desk. Yeah, let, let's start, let's start lo lowballing that. Yes. Pardon? And why were you sneaking around the scriptoria? I was in there working, you fucker. Is it some kind of disc? I could ask questions too. What was so important you had to be late for terse? I wasn't sneaking. I dropped a bottle of paint on the floor and was cleaning it up. Yeah. Could have left it there if you preferred. The floor is rather drab in the scriptorium. I get more work done while you and the rest of the brothers are at church. Yeah, let's not be hostile. Yet. Yeah, it's very hard not to be hostile to this guy. Let us seek a common understanding, Master Mailer, as two brothers in Christ. I'm not sure about that, dude. Please, let's. I love to understand things. Arrgh. The scriptorium is my domain, and you are a guest here. And so long as it is true, I do not answer to you, but to the abbot only. Is that clear? If you don't mind me asking, why aren't you the abbot? <laughs> Yeah, we let's, know he's pissy about this, so let's, uh... It's an elected position, isn't it? Did the brothers not find you fit? Yeah. Let's stroke his ego. Are you not better suited to the job, given your age and experience? That's not... I would not discuss this with you. Are we done here? I have a few more questions, if you don't mind. Be quick about it. I came across an interesting letter. What? Where did you get that? You shouldn't leave this type of thing lying around. An unscrupulous person might use it for devious ends. Were you performing uh, a call? Tab. Okay. Were you performing occult rituals with the Baron? Yeah, let, let's be the orator, the, the orator. orator, not the occultist, because yeah. this doesn't look good. It's not as it looks, ink blots everywhere. He meant to coerce me into performing a ritual to help him with a condition. You was it a erectile dysfunction? I think it was his syphilis. Um, does he have syphilis? Yeah, we, we found that out during the autopsy. Oh... But I refused, as the letter makes abundantly clear. No, it doesn't. The Baron's threat remained, and you know how fickle Inquisitors can be about what books people choose to read. The line between one who knows such rituals and one who practices them is thin as a spider's thread, Prior. I am an occultist. Some would say it's only a matter of time before the temptation becomes too much. Do not question my devotion to the Lord, Master Mailer. I am the prior of the Carousel Scriptorium, one of the few of its kind left in Christendom. And Martin Luther's working on that, dude. Modest though the Abbey may be, our library contains works on subjects rarely found beyond its walls. Certainly not all in the same place. Yeah, the occult books we know it's suspicious, dude. For men of certain academic interests, if you know what I mean, it is perhaps the only place we may meet and discuss them. Yeah, exactly, you're saying that you're a fucking occultist, okay, dude. I've always thought it'd be a perfectly reasonable area of study, so long as you avoid certain subjects. Yet he threatened to expose you to church inquisitors. I feel like we should say he threatened to expose you, because it's like... Yeah. Let's not be like this is fine yeah, no we we want to put some pressure on this dude the baron's interest was more than academic yeah but that doesn't explain why he was threatened to expose you dude when he wished to make it practical i refused there is nothing more to it the Inquisition is not kind to practitioners of witchcraft. Yes, Look, it is. The Inquisition doesn't give a fuck about witchcraft. Yeah, I know, but we're threatening him. The Wrens could have gotten you killed. 
I did not kill Baron Rothvogel. I didn't say you did. Shut up! Of course you're implying it! And I do not care if you believe me. It is simply a fact which the Archdeacon will surely realize. Now, is that all? I have duties I really should attend to. What I have dinner? <laughs> I will leave you in peace. Be well, Prior Fardek. Be well, Master Mailer. Defensive and ev- cold hands. <laughs> Talented hands. Uh, oh, God, what is this? He Gerhardt. Now, we got to go back to that grave and try to figure it out. Maybe they're all in it together. So there's something with the grave. He found the grave, and then he needs the stonemason to break into it. Uh-huh. Which one? This grave? It's or? this one over here. Why does he need a stonemason to... I don't... Maybe there's a coffin inside. I think, yeah. It was disturbed recently. Fernick must have buried something here. What? I need to dig up this grave if I want to know what he was up to. I should get perfect, but Otto would help me if I asked. Perhaps Brother Volkbert would lend me a hand. Okay, we need Tab. I can't remember these people. I know nothing about this dude. We're not asking the abbot's permission. Fuck that. Uh, let's try to get Otto's help. Yeah, okay. We know that Otto would be up for this, so yeah, let's let's go talk to Otto. A cult hands. I have a cult hands. Animal pens. So we've talked. To, well, we did try to talk to the nun. She was just. Really eh, you were mentioned, so I should talk to you again. You want to voice him? What, Andreas, I'm sorry about what is happening to Brother Piero. I do not know him as well, but I find it hard to believe he could have killed the Baron. He didn't. I'm going to find out who did. Do you have any idea who might have done it? Did you see anything? Sadly, no. Most morning I spent my time reading in the courtyard, but the rain made that impossible. And although the brothers are friendly, I do not know them well enough to speculate, I am sorry. I know it might be far from your mind, but you have considered my offer to eat with you and the townspeople? The gospel says a man cannot live on bread alone, but from time to time a little bread is required. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, but we do need to go talk to Otto. He's outside his house right yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. A what? Uh, I didn't think it, it... What the fuck is going on here? Oh my, Andreas. Yes? Are these all the mothers of Tassie and their children? Well, no, I don't think it's all of them. Helena, my friend, couldn't make it. It's a long walk up here in her condition. And Hetty and Hetty and the Hans were too. And Hetty and Hans were too big for stories. Okay. You tap. The hell is, oh, him. Okay. Stories? I may have said something about your books. Stories of your homeland. Oh my god, not this. Is this the printer? Yes. I like stories. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is you voicing her. What? Who is she? Uh, this is his mother. She she has the the pile of dirt voice. Yes! Maybe a little too much. Oh, uh, alright, I can tell a story, but first let's pray together and eat. Oh Lord, thank you for bringing us together. As you brought Jesus to his disciples on the road to 
Emmons. And we're about out of time. All right. So until next time, everyone. Bye.